hi and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to use the lcd s squared c display with an stm32 microcontroller my name is ali and you are watching cghq the circuit connections for this tutorial are relatively simple you just need to connect the vcc of the lcd display to the 5 volt pin on your microcontroller then you connect the ground to the ground with the microcontroller as well and then you connect the sda and the scl pins on the lcd display to the sda and scl pins on the microcontroller but if your microcontroller is not labeled you can simply just search the part number of your microcontroller on google and identify which pins are sda and scl to get started you just need to open up stm32 cube ide and then click and create a new stm32 project then go to the bot selector and type in the part number of the microcontroller that you have click on the microcontroller click on next and then for the project name we can just say i2c lcd and then click on finish when this is done we just need to come here where it says connectivity click on i squared c1 click on disable and then uh, change it to i squared c as you can see, uh, pins PB7 and PB6 have been initialized as S2C1, SDA and SCL. But these are not the pins we're going to use for this tutorial. Instead, we're going to use pins PB9 and pins PB8, which are, which are the ones that are labeled on the microcontroller's development board. So I'm just going to click on PB9 and then initialize it as S2C1, SDA. Then we're going to do the same for PB8 and initialize it as S2C1, SCL. When this is done, just click on Ctrl and S to save the project and then click Yes to generate code and Yes to switch to the new perspective. When we are greeted with the main C file, we need to add the libraries for the LCD display. To do this, just go to the link that I've attached in the description section below. It'll take you to the CGHQ GitHub. When you get to the GitHub uh, link, just click on this file. Go here where it says download raw file. When you're done, you can go back and then click on the second file and then click on download raw file again. Go to the file that you to the folder containing the files you just downloaded. And then this one that says dot h, which is the header file, just click on copy, go back to the IDE, and then here where it says drivers, just expand the folder and then expand the one that says hull driver and then expand the one that says include right click on this one that says include and then paste the header file we just downloaded go back to that folder copy the c file go back to the ade and then here where it says src right click on the src folder and then paste the c file and we need to go back to the include folder and then double click on the header file an important thing to note is that here on the uh, on the header file where it says hashtag include this f4 it needs to correspond with the type of microcontroller that you have i'm just gonna leave mine as f4 because i'm using an f41 re stm32 board if you're using a different microcontroller like the blue pill you might need to change this one this f4 to f1 it just needs to correspond with the microcontroller that you're using and then you need to scroll down here where it says the device i squared c address most lcd displays come with an address s4e or 27 hex so we're just gonna change this to 27 hex and then we're gonna go back to the top and then copy this include statement then we're gonna go back to the main c file and then here where it says user code begin includes we're going to paste that include statement and then we're going to scroll down to here where it says user code begin to we can put our code inside of this main while loop but for the purpose of this tutorial to make it simple we're just gonna put our main code uh, inside this section that says user code begin to example code is there on our github link as well so you can just go back to the github link and you will see that there's a bunch of example codes attached here so this is the example code for normal printing this is the one for uh, scrolling left or right while printing and then this is the one for printing numbers there are also other general functions like controlling the backlight of the lcd display and controlling the cursor so we can you can just copy this section of the code go back to your ide and then here where it says user code begin to just paste the code the code is self-explanatory so we can just quickly go over it this first line is just to initialize the display this is to clear all the contents in the display in case there was something that was previously displayed you want to erase it so that you can display new information this is to turn on the backlight this is to set the cursor position before we can start printing so if it says zero and zero it means we're going to print on the first column of the first row 
this one that says zero and one means we're going to print on the first column of the second row and in between here this is just the statement that we want to print to our lcd display when this is done you can just go here to the green play button that says run and then click on it and then click on ok again as you can see the code is working we're able to see our welcome to circuit gator hq message on the lcd display so now for demonstration purposes i can just show you how the scrolling uh, while printing is gonna work so to do that you just need to come here and copy this section of code from the github link go back to the ide and then we don't need this one we can just erase it and copy the new code and then we can click on run and then click on ok If you want to scroll to the right instead of scrolling to the left you can just comment out this line of code and then put this one in the code and then just remove this comment and the code should work and then lastly for displaying the numbers just go back to the github link copy this section of code go back to the ide and then paste the code here click on the green button again to upload the code to the microcontroller Thank you so much for watching the video if you have any questions or any feedback please let me know in the comment section below and if you'd like to help the channel grow so that we can make more content like this please check out the donations link in the description below thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe